This is 49-year-old Parag Desai, the executive director of the Vag Bakri Tea Group, who catapulted his father's company from a 100 crore firm to a 2,000 crore multinational that today clocks in over 50 million kilos of tea distribution annually. But on Monday, he died a painful death after battling for life for nine days, leaving behind his wife and daughter. It has been reported that on 15th October, when he was taking a stroll near his house in Ahmedabad, he fell and sustained serious injuries after being chased by a pack of stray dogs. While all the initial reporting blamed it on stray dogs and the growing stray menace in India, which surely cannot be ignored of course. In this particular case though, I have my doubts if Vag Bakri owner actually died because of the strays. For starters, I spoke to one of the VPs at Shelby Hospitals in Gujarat who was actually here in Dubai recently, where Parag Desai was initially admitted. He confirmed that there were no bite marks on his body and then there is this press release that you can see on your screens from Shelby Hospitals that also states that he was unconscious and not responding when he was brought to the emergency department of the hospital. The doctors at Shelby confirmed that there were no bite marks and diagnosed him as having acute subdural hematoma with bilateral frontal contusion after a CT scan and advised to keep him under observation for 72 hours. But Parag Desai was discharged upon the request of his relatives and then apparently admitted to another hospital in Ahmedabad. So far, the family has not come out in the media with any statement except this company Instagram post that states, with profound grief, we regret to inform the sad demise of our beloved Parag Desai. Now, another baffling point is that dog lovers who knew Parag Desai say that he was also a fellow dog lover. Kamna Pandey, an animal rights activist, came out on Twitter stating that Parag Desai was a staunch supporter of the street dogs and all animals. She wrote that his demise is a huge personal loss to all of those who care about animals. Now, a few months back when I spoke to the biggest animal rights activist in India and of course BJP leader Menka Gandhi, this is what she had to say about strays. Like Since you are talking about strays, uh, there is a counter view about how strays also attack people and, and then they become, uh, you know, like they become very aggressive. What do you do with them? That's it, BJP. The no dog, if we're just talking about dogs, firstly, we don't call them strays, we call them Indies. Hmm? In, okay, all right. In the Indian dogs, Indian independent dogs. Okay. Yeah. So, firstly, they don't become aggressive unless you're repeatedly mean to them. If you're repeatedly mean to me, you're going to get a massive amount of aggression from me as well. So, the point I is. Care. I hope not, but a lot of it. I'm saying that if you every day hit a dog with a stick, every day throw a brick at him, what would you expect him to do? Firstly. Secondly, all the time he's thinking, where am I going to eat? How should I eat? Who's going to feed me? So he's already lives life at the edge of nervousness. If there's you know, to think of him, think of him as you yourself in another form. Do you think that we won't come back? There's so much scientific evidence that we are born again and again and again. Do you really want to be reborn as him? If you if you don't worry about it, you will come back as him. So why not just make his life slightly better? Now, there's no denying that the problem of stray dogs is a huge one in India and the most neglected as well. They breed unabated, they create nuisance, they cause noise pollution. They often bite and even maul young kids besides chasing cars, bikes and adults causing fatal accidents. But you know what, there is no simple solution to this. Strays also suffer from multiple issues themselves. And perhaps the only tangible solution to begin with is to stop their breeding in the first place. But in the case of Parag Desai, things aren't adding up. Dogs are not known to bite or chase those who love them. They can feel it. And no dog lover will run away from a pack of strays. Then why is it said that Parag Desai was running from dogs and that to the ones near his own home? And a statement has come from his own watchman. Now we all know that dogs are territorial, so surely enough they must have known Parag Desai and Parag must have known them. Then why run? What is the truth here? Parag Desai is gone but has left many questions behind. What are your thoughts on this shocking story? Let us know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. In fact, share this story if you feel that whatever I am saying makes sense. But as always, even if you don't know any of these things, thank you so much for watching this one. Please take care of yourself and those around you. Jai Hind.